Hey everybody, welcome back to the Automation Minute. And in this episode, I want to go over how you can actually get your PanelView Plus 7 to talk to your PLCs and Slicks on Data Highway Plus. Yes, you heard that right. We all know when the PanelView Plus 7 came out, we lost the ability to talk to anything besides Ethernet. That's kind of sad, right? But there is a device out there, I talked about it last week, using it as a bridge, and that is a device from ProSoft, the ANX4, that will allow you to let your panel views talk to your panel view plus sevens or any panel view plus that's on Ethernet. Maybe you got a panel view plus six that's on Ethernet, right? To talk through Ethernet to your PLC fives and slick 500s on Data Highway Plus. Now, I'm going to walk you through the steps if you want to see everything, the gory details. I did an episode of the automation show for our members. You can check that out. But let me go through the basic steps you need to do in this episode of Automation Minute to get this all to work. So let's go over to the computer here. And uh, over here, you can see I set this up from the last time we were together. And you can see I'll go to Data Highway Plus Monitor. And here you can see all the nodes I have out there. And what you have to do is configure these, the HMI IP alias. Okay, this is just a text file. And let me show you what it looks like. I'm going to go to the view. And this is it. This is what it looks like. That's all you have to do. You can see alias IP, and this text comes right out of the manual. All right, let's see if I can make that bigger. Okay, and so I've mapped my uh, Data Highway Plus 10 node to 230.230, .230, 11 to 231, 60 to 232, and my 5042, which is at address 1, to 233. So that's the first thing you do, and that will require you to reboot your ANX4. Okay, the next thing you got to do in your Factory Talk View project, right? You can see I got my shortcuts here for each of these. You have to add the devices in as add device. You'll see ProSoft ANX2. We have an ANX4, but the ANX2 drivers work. You'll see one for the PLC5. You'll see one for the Slick. Now I want to point out here, I ran into an issue because the manual for this device is wrong. Buried in a tech note, I found some information. I was able to confirm it through testing. But here's what happened. If you are using, like originally, my PanelView Plus 7 standard was firmware version 8. Well, it just so happens, if you're using anything older than version 8.1, you can't use those drivers. You actually have to use, in the case of a PLC5, you have to choose a PLC5 control net model. Yes, you're putting it on Ethernet but you have to choose a control net module. If you're using a slick 504, you have to choose like a 505. Now you have to be very careful when you add these to the ethernet because it'll try to browse and it'll replace what you just added with some other product, okay? If it's online and, and browsing the network. And so that's what I found out. I added it correctly because I had old version of the uh, PanelView Plus 7, I had version eight and it was changing it. And then when I copied from design time to runtime, it had a 504 and it had some, you know, the actual part numbers here, like an LT, uh, LT4 for the 510. So that's a gotcha. Okay, so if you are using, run, I'm, not, I'm not talking about development software. My development software is version 10, right? But if your PanelView Plus firmware was before 8.1, right? Like mine was 8.0, you have to manually add the PLCs either as a control net PLC5 or a 505 to your runtime to the target tab of RS Lynx Enterprise for it to work. Again, why they want to take two seconds to update the manual to save people like me several hours, I do not know. But if you're using 8.1 or greater, then you can just use those two drivers we just talked about. And let me go over to the overhead cam here, and you can see it's communicating right here. Unfortunately, I have one of those expensive PanelView Plus 7 standards, so I only can talk to one PLC. Um, I guess that's all I'll say about that. But in any case, this can be great. Let's say you have an old PanelView Plus and uh, it has the RN6 Data Highway Plus Remote I.O. module on the back, Data Highway 45. Missed that module. What a great module that was, right? And you need to replace your PanelView Plus, but you don't want to redo all your screens and maybe the PanelView Plus 7, maybe you can't get a PanelView Plus 6. Maybe you can't get the RN6 anymore, right? Which works on the PanelView Plus 6 as well. With uh, It doesn't do Remote I.O., but it still works on the PanelView Plus 6. So you go and you buy a brand new PanelView Plus 7, but it only has Ethernet, right? Well, you can get one of these devices, and this will allow you not only act like a Control Logics uh, 
you know, Ethernet to control uh, to Data Hub Plus Bridge, like we showed you in the last episode, but it'll also allow you to map, as I just showed you in the web page for the module, um, Data Hub Plus addresses to Ethernet addresses so your HMI can talk to an IP address. You just change the shortcut from being Data Hub Plus to Ethernet, and now this guy will do the mapping and point it to Data Hub Plus. So not bad for a very small device that mounts on DIN rail. You know, and now you know the issues with the manual, so you can get around that if you're using older firmware in your PNLV Plus 7. And so I thought it was pretty cool. Um, I'm still a little sore that it took so long to figure out how to get the version 8 firmware to work. But in any case, if you're not using that old firmware, you won't have to worry about it. So with that said, I go through this in gory detail in the accompanying episode of the Automation Show for members. It's just $10 a month, and you get all of that stuff that gets unlocked. You can be a member either on YouTube or at theautomationblog.com. And if you want to learn all about programming and panel view pluses, you can take my course. It's only $49 for a lifetime copy over at theautomationschool.com. And with that, I just want to wish you all good health and happiness. And until next time, my friends, peace.